I got into cycling uh, much later in life. So um, I was studying chemical engineering um, at Stellenbosch University and um, I met my husband, um, Carl Passio there, and he was a pro triathlete at the time. And um, you know, having quite tight um, schedules with, with the engineering, it's a demanding course. Um, yeah, I couldn't do the normal sports that I usually did, so hockey, practice times, I couldn't make the team practices, so I started to dabble with um, endurance sports. I tried triathlon, um, and I'm a hopeless swimmer. I can swim, but not fast, and um, then uh, running, I'm, I'm a good runner, but I, I had a lot of running injuries, and that's what forced me to focus mainly on the bike, and yeah, I, I, it just went, uh, the growth was exponential from there, and yeah, won't, won't ever look back. Oh, my husband is um, incredibly involved in, in my career. Um, he, he is the guy um, that got me onto the bike and, and from the word go um, realized my potential and um, really helped uh, me to, to grow and, and to realize my full potential. And still to this day, I mean, he trains with me most days. Um, he's been very involved in the Bigler team. Um, so yeah, he's very much part of my journey and um, it's really wonderful to have him behind me. You know, to, you know, Society doesn't always um, uh, agree, you know, the man is usually um, the one that takes the forefront and, and the woman is the supportive role. So I think Carl is an incredibly um, strong man to be able to uh, put my career first and, and to be there by my side and supporting me. Heading into 2016, um, Rio is, is my biggest goal of course, so um, all the plans will, um, will be made in such a way that um, my biggest peak can come in August for the Rio Games, but of course the spring um, campaign will also be important because the points are still um, important for, for Rio up until the end of May. Now off the bike um, to relax, I think I love to just, you know, we do so much traveling all around the world and um, just to take some time, you know, to have some quiet time in the beautiful places that we travel to and um, especially, you know, in Spain where we live, um, we live close to a lake, um, Banyales Lake. And, that's my favorite place to go, you know, um, at the end of a hard training day to go down to the lake, to have a nice swim, um, just to be out in the nature and, and to enjoy um, the people and the vibe and some tapas and maybe a glass of wine occasionally um, is also nice. And um, also yeah, for me, uh, I spend, I have spent a lot of time at altitude this year. Altitude has become a huge part of my training um, and yeah, I absolutely love being in the mountains. It's just so refreshing uh, for body, mind and soul. Um, so yeah, just appreciating where I am in the world is what I like to do. Religion or, or faith for me is in, incredibly important, you know. Um, it really helps um, me when, especially when the going gets tough, you know, when, when you're facing the challenges. Like for example, you know, when I started, I went pro in, in 2010. I broke my collarbone three times in the space of 12 months. And you know, um, the only way that I, I could keep pushing through and coming back is believing that, that those kind of things happen for a reason. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely believe that that there is, I'm on the journey, and that um, yeah, my my future is um, is known, and and that yeah, I'm just enjoying the ride and and helping others along the way by sharing my story.